The Fourier transform is a powerful tool at our disposal to solve various problems in different domains, including signal processing, control systems, and robotics in general. And today I'm going to show how to use, how to implement the Fourier transform inside of the SAM32 microcontrollers. So you don't need to send data to a computer to apply the Fourier transform. Instead, you can do everything inside of the microcontroller. Before I released a similar video about the Fourier transform, but I got many complaints saying that the audio quality was poor, that I could not explain it properly. So I decided to make another video where I explain how to use the Fourier transform with a very simple yet a very descriptive example. And uh, to use the Fourier transform, you need RMath CM SIS uh, library. And since I have a, a video explaining how to install this library, I will not spend time on it. So I will skip the installation part. And I expect that you already have this library integrated to your project and, and that you are ready to code. The first uh, thing we need to do is to create FFT instance. Or in other words, we have to create a variable with the following data type. And also I have input array, uh, output array, and I have another output a buffer, but I will explain later why we need this buffer. In addition, I have some auxiliary macros. One is to define the FFT length. Another one is to define the sampling rate. We will not sample, we will not record any data. It is just the imaginary uh, sampling rate. The first thing we need to do is to initialize Fourier transform instance. To do that, we can call this function. And the first argument to this function is the pointer to the FFT instance. And the second argument is the length of the FFT. Then we can apply the Fourier transform, but uh, using this for loop, I create a sinusoidal function sinusoidal signal and I store this sinusoidal signal inside of the input buffer and uh, the frequency of the signal is 500 hertz and then we can apply the Fourier transform so I have a uh, first argument is the pointer of the FFT instant instance the second is the input buffer uh, the, the third argument is the output buffer. The last argument is zero, meaning that we are applying um, Fourier transform, not, not the inverse. And also I'm using this function and you might ask why we, why we need this uh, function. When we apply the Fourier transform, this input buffer holds not only the frequency values, but it also contains phase information. In other words, this input buffer has uh, complex numbers. So in even positions, we have the real part of the complex numbers. And in odd positions, we have the complex part of the uh, complex imaginary part of the complex numbers. So using this function, we can extract the magnitude values because uh, in most of the cases, we only care about the magnitudes of the, uh, of the frequencies and not the phase. That's why I call this function. And the first argument is the output of the FFT. The second argument is uh, an array where we want to store the magnitudes, the absolute values of the frequencies. And the next, the last argument is to define the number of magnitudes, which is in our case is the half of the FFT lengths. And, and to verify that everything is working, I call, I have a for loop and I print um, all the frequency values. And before checking, uh, let's ponder what should be the output of this FFT. Since, since the uh, input signal contains um, only one frequency component, which is 500 Hertz. The output of the FFT should, 
should contain only zeros except this frequency 500 hertz so we should have 000, zero, zero and at some point some spike uh, at 500 hertz then we should have only zeros and we can um, check whether it is so or not so i'm pressing the back button i open data console i run the code i suspend and you can see all the frequencies are zero except 500 hertz so here we have some value the rest we, we have some values but this is just a numerical error so it means that everything worked well and if we sum up to uh, apply the Fourier transform first we need to uh, create FFT instance we have to define this uh, variable we have to initialize defining the length of the 50 then we can apply the 50 also we can extract the magnitude so in less than four lines you can apply the 50 easily and in addition um, i have a project on github where i um, designed an audio recording device and I could uh, apply the Fourier transform in real time without having any delay, without having any delay, without having any packet loss. And you can find this uh, source code um, uh, on GitHub. Um, it's an open access. You can find the link on the description. So here I have the real time FFT branch. And here you can um, get more information how I apply the Fourier transform in real time. And regarding the code I'm using in this video, you can find it on Step School Organization on GitHub, which contains uh, many, many repositories. And you can access to all of them by joining my uh, Step, School, Step School community on website or on Patreon. And that's it for today. Um, thanks a lot. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment the video. Uh, see you soon.